Hey yo everybody, welcome back to some more Bigger Problems, episode 6 are we up to now? And um, I'm currently in one of the most boring biomes you can find in Minecraft, the woodland biome, forest biome, whatever you call it, it's the one with the trees as you can see. And we are going to make it a little bit less boring because we now have the rideable mining drill it's a french uh piece of equipment so we're going to try it out and see what damage we can do to the world and to ourselves now there are a couple of other things i might uh try and do in this episode but um here we are we've got our rideable mining drill Ooh. so we put it down like that and as it says it's rideable I guess we can ride it. Is this thing moving? Oh, this has got health as well. What do I look like? <laughs> um, there we go. Pretty impressive. So if I go forward. Oh, it's. It, I think it's drilling dirt. But you can't see very well because of the camera perspective. Let's try this angle. Oh my goodness. We are decimating these trees. Greta Thunberg is going to be on my case within minutes. It's not taking any damage. How do I pick it up, though? Hello, pig. Does it kill the pig? Is the pig still alive? Pig's still there. So we're going to try and drop down slowly so we don't pick up too much. Now, we've already picked up a lot. Also, if I fall in lava... That's going to be problematic, isn't it? I know the drill doesn't take damage, but I might. Oh, oh my goodness. Am I taking damage? Oh, we're at level six now. Oh, no. So it did appear that I drove through lava and it didn't take any damage. So I don't know if that means you're indestructible. Stone, getting that right, so there's diamonds there. So, even though I'm down at level five, we can still find diamonds. So, I've had to tunnel straight up from where I left the drill, hence, why we've got this little monument here. So, if we go all the way down, you're gonna find I've had to park the drill up because I just literally can't collect any more resources. So we have got in total 94 diamonds, uh, we've got a crap ton of redstone, most surprisingly somehow, and I don't know how it happened, we were able to mine bedrock <laughs> um, without going through the floor. So uh, that was a result, we can use the bedrock for something that we want to make that's indestructible, maybe a house in the nether, or the aether as it's called. Just want to see if <clears throat> you can actually trade with these guys or do they attack you? They attack you. Right, well, now that we've got a bunch of resources, we can make a couple of things. And the first thing I'm going to make is something called the Death Ray Crafter. And it's super expensive, so this thing had better be good. Oh my goodness. And, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't even know what those things are down there. What's this? Death ray? Oh, I see. What's the grey things, though? What are those grey blocks? You need 45 diamonds and four blocks of emeralds to make a death ray fragment. Well, we're somewhere away, especially with the emeralds. I think we've only got 11 emeralds. So we don't need to worry about that for the time being. That is a scary looking contraption, isn't it? Okay, well, we couldn't get much further with that. So the other thing we can make is I want to make one of these, a flamer. 
Oh, what the? What the? I thought this was a weapon, but it's not. Actually, can I shoot through here? There you go, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That's really unlucky that blazes would spawn in your house, Mega Bro. So if I put that there, trade. Oh, okay. It cooks things for you. Okay, so finally we were able to get enough gunpowder to make enough TNT to make this thing. Rocket launcher. So, what's the deal with this rocket launcher then? How do you shoot it then? How do you shoot this thing? TNT, oh I wonder if you need TNT in it. TNT launcher. And the problem is that I never have enough gunpowder. I've only got three gunpowder so I can't even make one more TNT. So that's going to have to wait. Right, so we made a flamer, but that turned out not to be a weapon. We made a TNT launcher without realising that we that we would need TNT uh, to use it. So we are going to make... We're going to have a third go at making something that perhaps will help us to fight. And we're going to make this. A drone. Now, there is something called a combat or an attack drone as well, which is more expensive. So I'm assuming that's the better version of this. So we had some technical issues with the uh, nether not loading up correctly. So I've had to chuck Mega Bro off and make this single player only. And I've had to turn the render distance down to the lowest setting. There it is. Um, it'd be good if I could put, give it a name. So is this thing going to attack by itself? Does it attack only when I attack? We are going to find out. Well, you weren't much use there, were you? You got hit, and then you... So what can I do with this thing? Can I pick him up? Yo! Oh, crap, he's attacking me. Oh, no. Has he stopped? Oi! Okay. Rip. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to pick him up. Um, I think you have to tame them. I assumed he was my buddy... Um, but he wasn't. I think he was neutral. And then when I started attacking him, he fought back. Um, which is fair enough. I'm not going to criticise him too much for that. This drone has been attacking worms while I've been away. So I'm guessing it's still in angry mode. Hello drone, me friend. Tame. Ah. That was easy. Oh, magma cubes. Go on drone. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I'll help you out a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get knocked off. Well, what would I do without this? Is this drone still alive? I might have to feed it. I think you have to feed it iron. I don't want it to take too much damage and die. Ah, oh, the drone, the drone is a beast. But how do you know when it's at full health? And this is just the normal drone. Imagine what the combat drone does. So do we get any indication? Feed. 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 Do I just keep feeding it? I don't really... There's no way of checking. Whoa! Oh, and there's an Enderman as well. And the Enderman's mad. GG, drone. You're all over the place, mate. Sit. Oh, he sits. Like with uh, dogs, at least you get an indication from the height of their tail how much health they have. But uh, we don't get that luxury with these drones. Are you mad? Doesn't seem to be mad. You only have to hit him once and then yeet. 
I like how they fall flat on their face. They do eventually despawn. Yeah, I don't think he's going to follow me through. No, where are you going? No. No, don't do that. Oh, no. Follow me, you freak. Don't die on me, please. God, he eats so much iron. So we towered up. We blocked up the hole in the roof. We got rid of that... Um, Love little lava waterfall that was endangering my drone but we're going to leave you here buddy anyway that will do it for this episode leave a like comment with name suggestions for my drone pet over there who looks like he's keen to jump off the edge and i'll see you in the next episode bye